Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August reading for 2023. Uh, sun, Moon and Rising. We are going to just start off with a, a ping of the sound bowl just to tune into the energy. You can join me if you like. I'm going to take a breath in and exhale. Okay, Capricorn, let us see what August is bringing you. Now we are going to do a cross of truth. Just to get an idea about where, what's working for you, what's working against you, like the outcome. And please remember that this is a person. no, this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you want a personal reading, you can contact me by my website, information in the description box below. Where you are right now, the wheel of fortune, baby. Desire, seven of pentacles. What's working for you? Ooh, queen of pentacles. I mean, wands, wands, queen of wands. Luck is on your side. Uh, what's working against you, page of pentacles. Okay. And the outcome for the week is a ten the Knight of Cups. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to clarify before I delve into this. But ultimately what I see is you being pretty ballsy this month, which is awesome. And it pays off in the form of, um, by the end of the month, I just feel like you're kind of, just like on a really positive flow like you're working with because uh knight of cups i mean this can be in you know knight in shining armor kind of offering their cup of love and there's lots of very joyful and fun but really i'm being drawn to those waves and i feel like you're just like riding the wave um and it's fast and it's exciting and it's connecting you to the emotional body it says you following your heart um but we'll see if anyone else turns up for you the thing that's not working for you is the path with the page of pentacles so it seems like you're wanting the things to pay off like what you're working on you're wanting to make sure you're like you're assessing what the work that you put in you're like mm, uh, am, I, am I actually getting the return of the work that I put in so that's a desire here but it feels like they may you may not get the actual physical cash this month like whatever you're actually working on there could be a delay going on with that or it feels like even though you are in your standing in your power with that queen of wands energy which talks about confidence you know authority boldness and kind of just grabbing the bull by the horns and making stuff happen that's like showing up in your the area that's really supporting you in august it feels to me that you might be on a slightly different path than you had anticipated we're going to clarify okay so it can please get but i mean for the wheel of fortune to be right in your position at the moment as you start the month it's like everything that was a bit hazy before anything that was a bit kind of unclear and turbulent it feels like you've grabbed the wheel now and you're directing the boat into towards an oasis but i'm just, it's weird that path that pathway might be a different path. Now, for some of you, you might be traveling. And maybe you have travel disruptions going on in, a, in, in August. Okay, let's clarify. In the same order, please, for each. Okay, under the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, nice. And Six of Pentacles, very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles, we got the star. Lovely. So you will get your wish fulfillment. Oh, three of cups, yes. And four of cups. Mm, definitely a reason to celebrate. Queen of Wands, we got the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. Now we've got the sun, the star, and the ten of pentacles. I mean Capricorn. Well, what more do you want? Ten of cups? 
see if the Ten of Cups turns up. Whoa, we've got the Wheel of Fortune come up again. Very nice. And the Three of three of Pentacles. Now we've got the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, which definitely talks about working and collaborating with others. Really going to be servicing you well this, this month. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Moon. Wow. Interesting. And, and the Two of Swords. I'll show you in a moment. Okay. And the Knight of Cups we have. Five of Pentacles. Judgment. Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. You felt like you may have been at a bit of a crossroads. Which direction do I go? Because that wheel there on the boat is like, well, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay. This card, Two of Wands, is also looking out into the horizon with the world in his hand going... Where do I go next? What do I do? Where am I putting my efforts into? Okay. And it's all about to change on the positive because we've got the Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, which shows me that there is money coming in. There is money coming in, which is weird because but that we'll talk about that in a section. Money is flowing and in a really nice way. Okay. So the desire here is to um, you know ensure that you reap the rewards of all the things that you've put in. Well, I think that that's an absolute yes, okay, with these three cards here. We've got the Star, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups, meaning that you're starting to believe in yourself a bit more. You're starting to have a bit more faith in your, in your vision for the future. Um, there's great healing to be had, and it feels to me like the things that are helping serve you to get the return of the efforts that you put in is actually by connecting with other people, connecting with groups, collaboration, okay? It also feels very kind of heart-based in the sense of really kind of um, being quite social this month, connecting with your friends, um, anything that really fills your heart. I think you're going to start to see the glasses half full this month with this energy and I feel like you're really being uplifted by your close connections, your friends and your family have really got your back and you're really feeling their support and you may be visiting a lot of people as well. Okay, so I see a very social month for you. Now this is what's really serving you. Queen of Queen of um, Wands is telling me it's almost like um, people are seeing a bit of a different Capricorn this, this month because I know that you've had a pretty, you know, we, everyone's had challenges, everyone's had a bit of a tricky year, but Capricorn has been a bit, mm, when it comes to work and finances, this month, this year for you has been a little bit up and down, okay, and so that's what, you know, in Capricorn you like to know where you stand, right, you like, you like it all laid out, right, uh, because you plan ahead, so that's why you want it. That is a thing that's changing for you in a really, really positive way. The sun with the wheel of fortune basically just uh, screams abundance, and we've got abundance down here. Okay. Now it's almost like if you've been hiding a little bit uh, this year because um, you have struggled to make decisions or struggled to know particularly where you stand as it relates to finance and forward growth, I feel like that's all changing for you this month. And people are seeing you in a totally different light. It's almost like they say, oh yeah, there you are Capricorn. Where have you been for the past six months? Um, because I see a lot of abundance, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion. A lot of passion and it's all about working with others and connecting with others okay so whichever way that means to you so either you on uh, some you're taking the lead in some sort of collaboration project you're joining companies with somebody else you are finding even if this is a project on the side even if you're retired you know this is like hmm maybe I should be doing some traveling who can I travel with okay there's definitely an upward swing for you, for sure, with the Wheel of Fortune coming up twice, okay. But there is a little bit of a fork in the road, which is interesting, because it feels to me like you're being haunted by um, the last, uh, maybe not the last time, but a situation where you, mm, how do I put this? Because I was saying in the beginning, you know, it's almost like you're at the fork of the road, looking out into the horizon, kind of going, which way do I go next? Which direction do I go? It feels to me like you may... It feels like you're being haunted by something from the past that didn't go according to plan, okay? And it was something that put you at a bit of a loss. You did lose out over this. 
and you are worried because the thing is now you've got your power back you want to you, you want to do you right because you're like yeah man i'm 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 capricorn this is this is it like check it out you know i haven't been around a while because i've been hiding because i've been kind of dealing with some like struggles some internal conflicts and some challenges but you know what i'm out this month yes i'm back um but then a part of you they may be you know like haunted by uh, something from the past We've got this five of cups here the moon and the two of swords so it's like you're second guessing yourself okay there may be an element of um uh, like doubt setting in maybe causing a little bit of like emotional worry within you and kind of like not knowing do i go in this direction so it's weird like with the, with, with the two of two of swords she kind of is, is is totally stagnant she's sitting in a space over there and um She's not moving anywhere, right? Now, if you don't make a decision, if you add a fork in a road and you don't make a decision, the universe sees that as a decision, okay? But I do feel like you just are haunted by something in the past where you put money into it, you know, you put your physical effort into it um, that was supposed to go the distance, go down a particular path, and it didn't. And that is the thing that's kind of making you feel a bit like, oh, I don't know what to do, don't know what to do right the outcome is at knight of cups so now because you've been really uh, fulfilling the heart space you've really been surrounding yourself with beautiful people this month and who really are bringing out the best in you who see your worth who really appreciate your presence um that's really kind of filling your heart up so what happens here is you turn a negative into a positive what happens here is we've got five of pentacles judgment in the ace of pentacles Five of Pentacles is that thing of where you felt abandoned and left out and not seen because you were hiding, right? And then the judgment call, it moves on to the Ace of Pentacles. So there is an offer coming in, right? It goes, when you go from a five to a six, um, that's that Six of Pentacles. Because a six plus a five is a six, sorry, five plus a, plus a one is a six, right? So going from a lack mentality of a five, and then you add, if you add that ace, ace of Pentacles, that solid start for the future, which is a gift from the universe, you turn it into a six, right? Six is an equal exchange, harmony, love, right? And money. Um, so I do feel that you are being rewarded this month, financially speaking, also emo but through the emotions. It's like, that's a reward you gain because you're earth and you want the earth uh, like result. But it's through the fluidity of the emotional body in the cups, the water, right? So I feel that even if you find that you are a little bit, if there's a decision that needs to be made this month, choose love. Because that might be the ultimate judgment call. Choose the new thing. Okay, choose the thing that gets you excited. And it feels like it's going to flow when you move with the flow. It's going to rush on in. Okay, so we definitely have that switch happening for you this month. It is extremely positive. Um, the only thing that you need to just be mindful of is like um, things from the past coming to haunt you. Now, they may only be haunting you because previously you put all your investment into that. And it didn't go according to plan. So you're very cautious about making a loss. I don't see you making a loss. I see it very fruitful. But sometimes something needs to sort of close before it can be moved and molded into something new. So we definitely have newness coming for you. Definitely have abundance. It's all good. Stay in your power. If you can just make sure that you don't allow the past to trip you up. But it's, but it's not like you want to... Um, ignore it you want to embrace it take on the lessons and kind of go okay i've got you i know it makes me feel a little bit stuck sometimes but i'm still going to stand in my power the queen of wands and be confident and forward thinking and know that the sun is on my side okay so extremely prosperous extremely prosperous month for you um and if a choice needs to be made choose love okay choose love within Choose love in something you do, or choose love in another. So, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I really hope it helped. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does help to grow my channel, and also lets me know uh, whether you want me to continue doing these readings. Thank you for watching. 
and thank you for subscribing it's totally free and i'll see you next time take care bye